The State Ethics Act took effect on January 1, 2007, and all of the voting members of the Board of Governors are covered by the Act. Under the Act, you have a duty to avoid conflicts of interest and appearances of conflicts. Looking at the agenda for today's meeting, does anyone know that you have a conflict of interest or an interest that would give rise to the appearance of a conflict of interest? If so, let me know now. Okay, thank you. I would now call on Mr. Parrish for a motion to go into closed session. Mr. Chairman, I move that we go into closed session to prevent the disclosure of information that is privileged or confidential pursuant to Article 7 of Chapter 126 of the North Carolina General Statutes 143-318.11A1. Establish or instruct the staff or agents concerning the negotiations of the amount of compensation or other terms of an employment contract. NCGS 143-318.11A5. Consider the qualifications, competence, performance, or condition of appointment of a public officer or employee or prospective public officer or employee. NCGS 143-318.11A6. Thank you, Mr. Parrish. Are you sure you got those numbers right? I am pretty certain. I got them from Andrea. Okay, good. Is there a second? Second. Right. A second. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Thank you. Opposed? Motion carries. We'll now go into a closed session. Serves as an effective fundraiser for NCCU and champions the successes of NCCU in a way that inspires sustained giving and supportive partnerships. After posting the position, we received 30 resumes and uh, after an initial screening, we got that list of 30 down to 12 candidates that were recommended by Diversified for review by the search committee. The search committee then got about its work and we uh, screened that list down to four candidates who were invited to campus to meet with the executive leadership team, students, deans, faculty, staff, alumni, and available members of the, uh, of the search committee. The search committee then did its work and uh, we recommended uh, three finalists to the NCCU Board of Trustees, the Board of Trustees then approved an unranked, and I'm sorry, apologies. The Board of Trustees approved the unranked slate of three candidates and provided those names to President Spellings for, uh, for consideration. And that concluded the work of the, uh, the search committee. I, uh, I would like to thank the committee and uh, also our, uh, our support team, a great support team from UNC General Administration as well as the NCCU staff for a great job and great work under a very, uh, a very aggressive timeline. Uh, it was uh, a real pleasure working with, uh, with such an engaged and a, uh, such a committed group. And uh, I, I really was a joy. I'd also like to thank the NCCU community, the students, the faculty, staff, alumni, and local partners for their active and positive involvement in this search process. President Spellings, that, uh, that concludes my report. Thank you, Chairman Hamilton, and thank you for the incredibly professional way that you all conducted yourselves. Really well done work. Uh, it is now my pleasure to nominate Dr. Johnson Akinlea as the next Chancellor of North Carolina Central University. tell you all about him. <laughs> Dr. Johnson Akinlea is a no-nonsense leader and a strategic thinker. He has a vision for NCCU. He sees building a relationship with the campus and community as a priority. 
His career in higher education spans 31 years, holding leadership positions at several public and private higher education institutions. He has a keen sense of how the UNC system works. In 10 years of his higher education experience have been at UNC Wilmington and NCCU. Dr. Akinleya holds an undergraduate degree in telecommunications, mass communications from Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, a master's degree in media technology also from Alabama A&M University, and a doctorate in human communication studies from Howard University. Dr. Johnson Akinleya has received leadership training from the Millennium Leadership Initiatives sponsored by the American Association of State Colleges and Universities and the Harvard Graduate School of Education and Rust College. He was appointed acting chancellor at NC Central in August of 2016 and then interim chancellor upon the untimely death of our beloved Dr. Chancellor, chancellor Deborah Saunders White in November of 2016. Johnson I have had the, and I have had the pleasure of working together over these last months. It is terrific to uh, name him as the next terrific leader of this institution. Congratulations, Johnson. Uh, the floor is yours. I'm just so excited. Sorry, Johnson. <laughs> The president is so excited she got ahead of herself. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, there's one little, uh, we've we got to do, do uh, a little spray. <laughs> I, I will now entertain a motion to approve the president's recommendation of Dr. Akinleya as the next chancellor of North Carolina Central University. So moved. Well. Mr. Chairman, this is Joan McNeil. And it is my distinct honor and pleasure to move the approval of President Spelling's recommendation to appoint Johnson Akinleyi as Chancellor of North Carolina Central University. Thank you, Joan. Uh, Joan, as you know, was the liaison to the search committee, so she particularly wanted to uh, to make the uh, motion nominating Dr. Akinleyi. I will now entertain a motion to second. Second. I'll entertain a second. Any discussion? Yes, Mr. Webb. As part of the board screening committee, we did not have the benefit of the leadership profile, but as we interviewed Dr. Akinleya, it was as though he was writing it. And there was no daylight between what Chairman Hamilton just told us and what we found to be the qualities possessed by our new chancellor. Thank you, Mr. Webb. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor of the motion indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. Okay. Opposed? Dr. Akinleya, I think the motion was approved unanimously. 